Hi friends, Julie here with Deschutes Public Library. Today we're thinking about counting and big numbers. No matter how high you can count, sometimes there are too many. Suppose I needed to know how many leaves are on a tree. I could divide the tree into maybe 20 or 30 sections or by branch and count one section or branch and then estimate from that. That is called sampling. It won't be exactly right, but it will be pretty close. But if it was really important, maybe I'd count all the leaves. In the United States, it's really important to know how many people we have in different places. For every hundred people we have in our community, we get a certain amount of our tax money back to use for projects here. And for every 710,000 people we have, there is one person to represent us in Congress. That means the person we choose is supposed to vote for laws based on what we want. It's so important that every 10 years we count all the people in the United States. It's called the census and it's happening this year. Just go to census.gov to be counted. And if you don't count your family that way, someone will write to you. And then if you still don't count your family, someone will come knock on your door to count you because it's so important that everyone gets counted. Friends, I have my guitar. Let's try a song together. Your part goes like this. Everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. Together. Cause everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. Good. The census counts people in homes big and small. You count if you're tiny, you count if you're tall, because everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. The census counts everywhere, count all who live with you. Sisters, uncles, grandmas, and your newborn babies too, because everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. We count all your neighbors and we count all your friends. Until we count you, the counting won't end. Because everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. Everyone counts and you count as one because everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. Because everyone counts in the U.S. of A. Everyone counts in their own special way. Friends, this book starts with one dot and then doubles it and keeps doubling on every page. And how long do you think it will take us to get to a million dots? We'll find out. This book is called A Million Dots. It's by Sven Volker and is read with permission of the publisher, Cicada Books Limited. It starts with one. One plus one equals two. One, two. Two plus two equals four. One, two, three, four. Four plus four equals eight. There's our eight dots now. 8 plus 8 equals 16. There's our 16 dots. 16 plus 16 equals 
32. 32 plus 32 equals, do you know? 64. That's what 64 dots looks like. 64 plus 64 equals 128. There's our 128 dots. 128 plus 128 equals 256. Sorry, 256 freckles. That's a lot of freckles. 256 plus 256 equals 512. And there they are, 512 raindrops. Dots. 512 plus 512 equals 1024. 1024. 1,024 plus 1,024 equals 2,048. Oh, the dots are starting to get small. 2,048 plus 2,048 equals 4,096. Oh, look at them all. The stars and they're down below too. 4,096 plus 4,096 equals 8,192. 8,192 plus 8,192 equals 16,384. Oh, the dots are really small now. 16,384 plus 16,384 equals 32,768. Oh my. 32,768 plus 32,768 equals 65,536. See how small those dots are now to fit. 65,536 on a page. 65,536 plus 65,536 equals 131,072. 131,072 plus 131,072 equals 262,144. 262,144 plus 262,144 equals 524,288. The dots are in the smoke here. You can see how the page folds out and out to have room for those tiny dots. In the upper corner is a close-up of the train window to help you see how small those dots are. It's so interesting to see Sven Volker's choices for how to show the dots. Do you think you could make a book like this, doubling dots on every page? How would you show the dots? I think that would be a fun project. This math is really beautiful to explore, like music. 524,288 plus 524,288 equals 1,048,576. And now the dots are in the smoke and in the buildings too. And friends, did you keep track of how many times we doubled to get from 1 to 1 million? Just 19 times. That surprised me. I thought it would take more steps. Were you surprised? Do you think there's a million of anything in your home or neighborhood? Maybe if you have a sandbox or a big bag of rice? What else might there be a million of at your home? I love the way this book shows us what the big numbers look like. It's hard to imagine a million and I think seeing a million dots like that really helps. And you have a much better idea of 
256 from these freckles, don't you? Thanks for joining me, friends. Bye.